Hey guys, Ken Smith. Ken Smith Fishing. It's Sunday afternoon. It's a beautiful afternoon. It's kind of overcast all day, but not really any wind. And uh, Bo and I come out to try to give you all a lake report. Uh, so I'm sitting right here in front of the ramp at uh, Caney, and the water's 69 degrees. I saw water way up into the 70s today. I'm going to let this guy run by me. And... So uh, we put in here at Caney. The ramp is open. It was crowded this morning. Um, we ran around and ran basically the, some main lake points on the back side of the forest and uh, saw a lot of bait. Didn't say, see any bass. And talked to several guys. Nobody was catching much. And we worked all the way down to Peckerwood, just on the mouth of mud, uh, throwing an A-rig, throwing a square wheel. I never drug any, uh, but we fished all of that and, and didn't catch anything. We probably spent an hour, hour and a half without a bite. Well, actually, I had one little knothead on an A-rig that, that pulled off. So we turned around and we ran across to Veach, and we spent the rest of the day in Veach. And we tried a little bit of everything. We tried... Uh, we tried some, uh, some Cinco fishing, we tried some frog fishing, uh, we tried some chatterbait fishing, we tried some A-rig fishing. And you'll see here, we, we caught a number of fish off and on kind of all day. Finally, we catch a little perch to show y'all how to handle a perch. We talked about this before for the moms when you take the kids fishing. So he's got super good, super spiny back. So you just grab him just like that and he won't go anywhere. Just palm him like that. And that's gonna, he's got all three hooks in his mouth. Excuse me, Bo, you're kind of in my way, Bo. And this one's just about gonna require forceps not to tear him up. so crazy. I have fished all through this shallow stuff, throwing all kinds of baits. I pick up a little bait to try to catch a crappie, my little rooster tail, and bang bang I catch a brim and I catch a pound and a half fish, just bang bang. Bang, bang, a little pre-spawner up there. Not beat up at all. Looking very much like a pre-spawner.
Hey, 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 stop it. Stop it. No biting. Hey, no, no. We talked to a bunch of people uh, that are that are catching, kind of going down the bank. So there's quite a bit of water uh, between the outside edge of the hay grass and the actual bank where there's hay grass or, or whatever there is in the different areas. And, uh, ouch, something bit me. Uh, sorry, fish chasing right here in front of the ramp. Uh, we, we talked to a lot of people who were catching little fish, and when I say little fish, I'm talking 12 and 13 inch fish up doing that. The biggest fish we heard of today, by the way, we're rolling through these, these pictures uh, as, as we talked about, uh, we'll, we'll keep it going as well. If you catch a fish over five pounds in large mouth or pound and three quarter on a crappie or for kids under 16, uh, half those weights, send me a picture where you caught them, what you caught them on and your name obviously and the size of the fish and we'll post your picture up to try to try to kind of create a sense of community since we're really not getting to see each other right now other than just visiting on the water but uh talk to a number of people that are basically looking at fish but they're just seeing motion they're seeing fish up moving around and casting shallow look, looks like most of them are throwing senkos and catching some little fish but i think the biggest fish we heard of anybody catching today was a three and a half pounder so the full moon, th this cool front, um, uh, Dickie's on the south end today and he struggled as well. He didn't catch much. But what he did say is he talked to several guys that were like, we caught big ones right here, you know, before this front hit. So this little front came in and kind of conked him on the head. It's always a little bit of a weird time. So you're right in front of a full moon. You've got a lot of bucks that are thinking about spawning. You've got a lot of females that are thinking about spawning. Uh, but what you're what you're not seeing is uh, fish just on a feed right now. Uh, I think there has probably been in some spots a little bit of a shad spawn going on. That's what I was looking for this morning and didn't see it at all. But uh, you've got a lot of fish thinking about spawning. Uh, the fish that were that spawned on that last moon have probably quit protecting their fry at this point to a large degree. So it's just a weird time. Uh, I would think it's supposed to get supposed to get rain again the next couple of days but get really warm again and I would think the bite's really going to pick back up you're going to see a lot more fish shallow a lot of big fish shallow so I would think the next week 10 days is be pretty good fishing it may take till Tuesday for that to happen uh, I've got to work all day tomorrow uh, but I'll get back out hopefully Tuesday and get you guys another report up uh, before the week's out so uh, Bo and I are going to put it on the trailer and go home and grill something for dinner and uh, we will catch up with you folks later in the week. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the cool pictures. And uh, I don't know if y'all can hear that eagle or not. He's barking. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. We'll see you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next couple of days. Thanks, guys. You know, I did my recap, and I really didn't talk about what I did right there at the end of the day. So, right there at the end of the day, uh, I was in Veach, and those fish, they don't just spawn out in the open if they can help it. They want to spawn under something. And uh, although there's not a lot of water in, there's, in those bushes, there's a lot of junk in the top of those bushes. So, I think there's enough stuff on top of most of those bushes for those fish to be currently. So you saw, I, well let me show you, I picked up a, a flipping bait and caught one real quick. Now there was only right there about uh, 30 yards of buck brush and I had already talked to Sarah and told her I was done for the day. But as I came out of there, there was a little stretch of hay grass. And uh, just real, real quick in the hay grass, this happened.
Hey, 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 hey. Again, still, that's a pre-spawn fish. I mean, there's not a mark on that fish. I'm just in here. I'm actually in beach. I'm in really clear water. And uh, I've seen a few fish up shallow moving around. Not a lot. I've, I've seen one fish. I couldn't see the fish, but I could see him moving the water. And it was, it was either a fish protecting a nest or protecting fry. You could just tell the way he was chasing stuff off. <coughs> he was real, real shallow. So uh, I know that when this starts going on, when these fish start thinking about spawning in this stuff, they're going to spawn either just out here a little bit deeper or if there's enough water and the water's stable, they'll get right in the bottom of these bushes and in those little holes. So even though this water's super, super clear, not super, super clear, it's clear for Rayburn. <coughs> you can catch a few fish flipping. I've done it now for about 50 yards. I don't have much time left. I've kind of goofed off the day and just really not caught much. But I'm going to flip this little bit right here, and I think i got one more spot I might run flip. It's about time to go to the house, but I'm going to give it just a few more minutes. Again, straight up pre-spawner, right there in the edge of the hay grass. I've now flipped uh, nine yards of hay grass for one quick one. That could get kind of fun there in the hay grass, Bo. Your daddy and you could have some fun. I think it's going, we got to work tomorrow and I think it's going to maybe let us fish Tuesday. I think it's going to rain Wednesday and Thursday, so we may only get one more day to get out here and play. Hey, grass bite. I like it. Once again on the six cents prawn. And yes, I should get a timeout penalty. Somebody sent me a memo on YouTube, so you should have got a penalty for that fish, and I got a penalty for that one. I've now flipped 18 yards of hay grass. Golly. That little 3 odd EWG hook. No bow. That's that mag jig rod again. Just a little old pre-spawner up there. Thinking about doing the deal this week when full moon rolls up. Going through the prawns. Let's flip that around. I literally have flipped five boat links, four boat links of that stuff for two bites. So all those fish again. Not my best effort. Uh, <laughs> that was a really poor effort. I tried to come in at an angle. Uh, all those fish to me look to be pre-spawners. Uh, all those fish to me look to be pre-spawners. They don't look beat up at all. So I think there's a big wave of them about to do it. And uh, when I get out later this week, Besides trying to find that shad spawn again, I'm going to try to find those fish flipping. So 
uh, that's a little something for you to think about if you find some decent looking hay grass you might just grab you a six inch prawn or whatever your favorite creature bait is and go down the edge of it and uh, I mean again I didn't do that I didn't flip it's certainly not 30 minutes for three bites and those were my although no size they were my three better fish of the day so there you go guys mm -hmm.